Oh, a little leak. A little leak, that's my mess. That's your mess? And uh, so I've kind of been told for a while to keep the hands up here. Uh-huh. And I kind of wrote when I feel like my face is to the right. You said that I, you want to yeah, so the way to look at it, um, so firstly, you know, in the first lesson we talked about, well, first lesson we fixed your grip. Yeah. And then how to take it away. Second lesson with Mike, we got you pushing, you know, a lot more aggressively. Mm -hmm. So the, the harder you work your lower body, the more of a sort of a face opener it is. Okay. So when you see sort of that look, it's because the lower body's working properly. So a lot of people misunderstand the shallowing piece. So once you load into that front leg, that sort of shallows the club and also opens it. But this is why I wanted to explain to you, so we'll do it on the video here. So if you look at where your arms start in a golf swing, they start right in front of you. So where do they go? So in a three-dimensional space, they start out in front of you, as in this way, and they start in front of you here, and they swing, you know, without turning the body, they swing up and right. So they go up and above your shoulder. You know, from here, they start out in front of you, and obviously they swing some amount in, some amount out, and some amount up. So we're going to be able to measure that on sports box soon, actually. So now how do the hands get from behind you and above you to down and out in front of you? So just think about the simple sort of math. It went to the right of me and it went behind me. So now I have to get them out in front of me and coming back down, right? So on the way through, you know, they go from here and they swing over your left shoulder, right? So people don't really sort of see. So if I didn't move my body, my arms go from over my right shoulder to over my left shoulder. So they're swinging across my body and up and down, right? And if you just take the wrists as an example, you know, at some point the club goes to the right of your wrist, and at some point it goes left of your wrists. So if you add all those pieces together, you know, obviously you're turning. Club's going right of your hands, and your hands are going right of your midline. So now we've got to get these back out, back in front of us. So they've got to come down this way. So understanding that, I get a lot of people to do sort of elephant trunk swings where they're turning, allowing the club, or allowing their arms to go in front of the right shoulder, but then swishing them and allowing them to come through. So try it just with your arms only. Just feel like elephant trunks. And swish them in front of your left shoulder. You feel how much more speed they have? Yeah. So now as you are loading and pushing up more, the arm speed has got to increase. And yeah. I'm not sure if we explained it to you. It's like, um, <coughs> It's like uh, walking, right? So Mike, uh, um, I think he learned this from his son learning sprinting. You know, so if your arms go faster, your legs go faster. So just walk across in front of me here. Speed your arms up. So your legs go faster, right? Yeah. So come back the other way. Slow your arms down. Legs slow down. Yeah. So what, what's happening, if you, you know, are speeding up your lower body, but you're leaving your arms behind, that's causing that shot to the yeah. right. And they face so, open. That's exactly right. And so, you know, Mike and I talk about golf swings. We're always like, why do we swing like we do? Well, obviously the build of your body is a big deal. Uh, you know, matching up the variables so you can be dynamic is a big deal. But, you know, your understanding of what you should be doing is, is something we always have to clean up until it's yeah. basically turned back into a dynamic movement. So there's kind of two drills you can do. I actually just like the drill we did. You could also just stand, you know, and hit the ball with very little lower body action which effectively is a face closer, right? So it teaches the arms to pass the body, which they actually do. And when you do that, the ball should turn over. So try and hit it almost as far as a normal shot, but keep your feet and legs really passive. And then let's use your lower body again. So think about what we talked about earlier, you know, in terms of loading and pushing up. But now you've got to have the arm speed to keep keep up with the lower body speed. That is perfect. Good job, Fred. Any questions? That was good. That's because really good. <laughs> <laughs> really good. it's the right stuff. Well, let's finish that lesson real quick. So. Um, so, you know, our seminar is about speed, right? Yeah. So speed is, well, we create speed, you know, in the ground, but you also yeah. create speed at the handle. Yeah. Um, you also can't block speed, right? So you have to allow the, the joints to, to add up together. Mm -hmm. Keep my arm stiff, for example, and stick it on my body. I've just restricted a gigantic 
segment of the body that Hand could right. could have yeah. degrees of freedom but doesn't right yeah. so each joint is really an accumulator of speed yeah. but it importantly it's also timing um so this is completely against the hold the face and rope face yeah rope, you know? so bad that's what most bad golfers do they hang back and so hold I, on i like that i can have some type of practice routine literally yeah. i might look a little bit like a hat but this is the feel i want right, right? and then then you can add your lower body in and, and you just that's exactly what you just did there was great that was like rory good That is better than the one before. Yeah. Pure. 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 Pure.